Hey guys, so this is going to be a little different than normal. <laughs> um, I haven't streamed on the PlayStation 4 since Dragon Quest XI, but <laughs> now I got uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2 and I wanted to play this. I never did stream Builders 1, so if you're a little lost, that's okay, and I just dropped something, ignore that. <laughs> Uh, things are a little bit clumsier. I don't have any notifications. I don't have anything of the sort for that, at least. But that's because I'm streaming through the PS4. There might be some issues where when I stream, things won't show up as well. So we have to keep that in mind, too. I'm still kind of uh, fixing things up. And this is going to be a shorter stream. But hopefully we can get this working. In future streams of this game, should be less problematic. So, oh, and hey, No Life Queen, how you doing? How's the mic? Because uh, this is still, I've still got to get reacquainted with PS4 um, streaming here. <laughs> but I think I got everything set up still, and we could finally start a game. I have not played this at all, the second version anyway. First version I have. Alright, set that up, and okay. And I'm just testing to make sure my mic's working. First version. Yes, it is. Good. Alright. So, without further ado, well, what's Builder Bonus? You must create an account if you want to enjoy the game's online features. Oh, dear lord, no. No, no, no. We're not doing that now. Thank you. It's time to design your character. <laughs> Alright, male or female? Well, in this... In the first one, again, off stream, I played as female, so I think we'll do male this time. Let's go and mess with the hair. I'm thinking we'll make this one Scarcy. One of my other character reoccurring character names. <laughs> but yeah, how are you doing, No Life Queen? I hope everything's going well with you. Alright, Scarcy is kinda on the tan side. There we go. And he has dark blue eyes. Yeah. Okay, so keep in mind, this is the best way I can describe it. It sounds like you're talking around a piece of paper. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is the mic from PS4. And it's right against my shirt and it fumbles a bunch of times. Am I understandable? <laughs> At least. Unfortunately, the quality is not going to be great. Because, again, PS4. Also, I'm right next to a wall, so you're probably getting some feedback from that, too. Let me try moving away from it. Though then I have a hard time seeing the TV, so... Oh, well. But this is our character, anyway. Do we have any other... No, just very simple options. Kind of good. All right. We're going to name this one, like I said before, Scarcy. No, it's not supposed to look like Eric. Eric in the upper right corner there. <laughs> also, give me one second. I just gotta do something really quick to set up. Okay, sorry about that. I had to put up a sign to make sure no one disturbs me for a little bit. At least not with like a knock on the door or something. Hopefully they'll just text me. Okay, now I took care of that. Can I hear you fine? Good. Yeah, I'm glad this mic actually has a little on-off switch that I could see and visibly see and all that. So, uh, depression has been kicking my ass, hence my crappy lack of streaming. Oh, I'm sorry to really hear that. Yeah, only do it when you're like in the mood for it, you know? Like if something that you really want to do comes up at some point while doing this, uh, I could change all this later. Yeah, that's fine. That's when you got it. That's when you know what? When you feel it, do it. But if you don't feel it, do what works for you, you know? 
Now, if forcing it helps you, maybe do smaller stuff then, you know? <laughs> Let's see, you can now adjust the game settings. Once you're happy, select confirm to save your change and start the game. You'll be able to change these settings later. All right, let's see. Look up and down, ride controls. Oh, there we are. Look up is with L1, look down is L2. Dash ride monster, that seems okay. Uh, I think type one's fine. Place objects, square, all right. It's been a while since I've done builders. Uh, yeah, I like square, all right. Change tool controls, what? I think I'll go with default, but I wanna look at this stuff. Oh, there's more there, okay. Uh, camera movement, normal, yeah, I like that. The right stick is my controller, that's good. Walk run settings. Um, your character will start to run when you tilt it a fair amount. I like that. All right, that's good. Next one. Network connection. Whether you choose or not to connect to the network and receive notifications, why not? All right, this is stuff I probably should have set up ahead of time, but I didn't realize I was gonna go through all of this. Uh, character outline, sure. Vibration, sure. Uh, auto adjust. When your character is blocked from view. I, we'll leave that on for now, but we'll see how that goes. Rotation speed. I like it a little bit on the faster side. Icon size... Yeah, larger. And that's good. Minimap style... Ooh, retro. I like retro. Minimap view... Also, this is going to be one of those games that I'm going to only stream during the day, which means it's going to be... A little... Yeah, that's how it always happens. I know. I'm only going to stream this during the day, so my night streams are still going to be the usual either Dragon Quest fan game, Monsters, or Don't Starve. Uh, only because this game makes me speak outward more and is louder. <laughs> and like I said, this is going to be a shorter stream still because uh, dinner is probably going to be ready in an hour or so. Alright, sound effects, brightness. For those watching on YouTube later, feel free to skip to... Uh, I'll try to remember to set a time, but feel free to skip ahead. <laughs> Let's see, message speed, I like it to be a little fast. Water translucency. Please note, it's fixed at low when you play the main center. I don't know what, we'll leave it at medium, I guess. See through water, see water through glass. Oh, I like that, yeah. And auto adjust glass position, what? I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> Some of this we're probably gonna change later. If you choose to know the game, we'll start using default settings, but we'll change them later. I am happy with these. I'm kind of glad they mostly made it easy, like, are you sure, or whatever. And we can always change it later, because that's how it was in the first one. Now, I know this is actually multiplayer online, but because it's PS4, I'm not going to be able to do that since I don't have a... I don't have any, uh, what do you call it? The, oh, learn the recipe. Yeah, yeah, I put in stuff. I put in codes to get some of these. You learn the recipe for that, that, okay. Downloaded content once to a certain point in the game. But yeah, anyway, because it's PS4, I don't have a PlayStation Plus account, so that's why I probably won't be able to play online. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Okay. I'm pressing the buttons. Oh, Hargon and Saito. Thus decreed the great and glorious High Priest Hargon, and lo, his minions of mayhem did march out upon the rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. Ooh, I got some stuff to tell you about Dragon, Qu or Builder Dragon Quest Builders 1 after this is done. Oh, I like that. That was a good cackle. Our unholy father then gave up his mortal form so that Malaroth, the master of destruction, might be reborn and in the, in the world be consumed by catastrophe. Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Erdrick before Hagen's glorious vision could be brought to life. Oh, okay. Yay, happy dance. Yeah, in our Dragon Quest 2... Oh! I thought Hargon survived. In our Dragon Quest 2, uh, it was the princess that 
single-handedly killed Malroth. <laughs> well, mostly single-handedly. <laughs> the one we streamed where we just kind of just cast spells and hoped it worked, and it worked very well. The moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme, and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. Huzzah! Huzzah! All hail Hargon! Praise to be to Malroth! Okay. Who hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from this world of oblivion. Lead us ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together. Dragon Quest Builders 2. DM. <laughs> Is this the time for me to butt in or are we still doing story? Probably still doing story. Scarcy. You know what? Let's hold it for a moment. Alright, so in Dragon Quest Builders 1, it was considered an alternate timeline where in Dragon Quest 1, a game we've streamed, you accept the Dragon Lord's offer to rule half the world. And that's where Dragon Quest Builders takes off, where you basically you have to correct where the hero went wrong. It's kind of cool in a way. Now this doesn't look like that type of scenario. But it's still interesting, to say the least. You are the hero who will save this world. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Oh, hey, Destiny. How are you doing? So, are you, are you the one talking to me, Skeleton? <laughs> that look on your face, I was only ribbing you, my child. Wow, you're an asshole. You know, hero. I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? No. <laughs> you're telling fibulas now. Oh god, puns. I've got it on good authority that you're a builder, so you can drop the act. Are you Sans? Are you Papyrus or Sans or something here? <laughs> Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. I have actually got just the job for a lad like you. Once you've wiped the slate from your sockets, come and meet me up on deck. Okay, Papyrus. Your name is now Papyrus, even if you're not that friendly. Get a move on. Use control stick to move your character and right control stick to control the camera. Press zero. I mean, press zero. <laughs> press circle to jump. Okay. La 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 la. Jump, jump, jump. Look at me. I'm a pro. Can I... Examine. Peeks into the pot. Poo whip. What a pong. This must be the toilet. It looks like it hasn't been emptied for a very long time. Oh, that's gross. And I guess that's why I can't lift it. I can rest. Oh, cool. Yeah, may as well get our HP uh, full. Thank you. Yep, stretch it out. Alright, there's rest. Talk, let's talk to the skeleton. Skull. There's no response, it's just a skeleton. Well, I feel smart. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Builder, Builder, I have something to tell you. Did you know that you can run by holding the R1 while you move with the control stick? I'm sure the extra speed will come in handy. But take care on your high ledges, or you'll meet your maker sooner rather than later. You're... Surprisingly friendly-ish. <laughs> How about you? Pilda, Pilda. Are you going to say the same, tell me the same thing? Press X when you want to examine something, or strike up a conversation with someone. I just wish you remember this advice until the day you die. Oh, and one more thing. Could you ask that girl in the brig to pipe down? She won't stop screaming. How does she expect me to rest in peace when she's being so noisy? Okay. Hey, what's up? Oh, hello. I couldn't help it over here. You hobnobbing with that dreadful dreadnought. So, you're an apprentice builder, are you? I was going to ask if you could come up with a plan to get us off this ship, but you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure something like that out. The wine, the goddess name, did I ever become a builder? If only I had been a farmer or a miner instead. I, I'm guessing it's someone else talking here. I'd never have been left to rot in a stinking cell. 
We thought that the children of Harker were all but vanquished, that they turned run it they were running scared. How did they ever turn the tables on us like this? Yeah, that was the other person there. Used. Okay. That's not the right key. Yeah, that's the nothing key. Alright, so we can't do much there. Can I zoom out? I would really like to zoom out. Hey, magician, what's up? Ah, the builder. Tell me, boy. Do the children of Hogan frighten you? Do you wish to flee from this floating coffin? These waters are cursed. Strange voices carry up, across, carry across the waves, and many a vessel has vanquished in to vapor. The crew victims to an unknown fate. Now are you scared? Not as scared as I am, I assure you. i have be off this death trap at the first opportunity. Oh, okay. I'm gonna call you... Nah, just mage. Whatever. I, I don't really have anything better for you. Can I talk, jump on your head? Nope. Alright, there's that, and then there's the stairs. Let's look what this is first. Alright, can't examine those. Oh, hey, slime! This is where we store a cargo. We slime marines like me called the hold. Say, you wouldn't be that apprentice builder I've been hearing about, would you? They said you can make all sorts of stuff just from a few bits and blobs. Okay, that really hurts my throat. <clears> throat> I don't know how you builders do it. As the magnificent Argon said, destruction of which is all that is built. The bunk of all the harbor going to waste. Okay. Yeah, that's the general slime voice I give it. That's also my Yoshi! voice. <laughs> All right, nothing there. Well, we got to talk to a slime and hurt my throat, so all in all, good day. Up here, Builder. I don't remember your voice already. Builder, Builder. Oh, wow, this is going to become a thing, isn't it? If you ever get stuck or can't figure out what to do next, be sure to check back with whoever you spoke to last. It shows you're willing to do the job right, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, that's a tip that'll serve you well in this life and the next. Okay. Oh, hey, sup. I'm gonna jump off this boat. Let's end it all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's not. Now, you know what? We haven't done much yet. Yay! And we die. Man overboard, it's the builder. Drag him out of the drink, lads. <laughs> he thought you could escape, did you? We're not finished with you yet. Eh, worth a shot. Scarcely wakes up the deck of the ship. The captain must have rescued him before he drowned. Oh, cool. Alright, to progress, I talk to him. But So let's not progress yet. Hell spinners, what a storm we had last night. It washed all the torches aboard and scattered my barrels upon the deck. I beg your pardon. You say you slept right through it? Good gracious, you must sleep like a particular lazy log that you have missed a humdinger of a hurricane like that. Yeah, all magicians are British. That's just how we're going to do this. Okay. Uh, how about you? Have you heard? Yes. Been boning up, have you? Jog on then, smarty pants. <laughs> Bone up. No. I'd better give you a quick history lesson then. In an age long since past, this world was ruled by the... Iron fist of a king among kings, the mighty dragon lord. I was one of his loyal foot soldiers, but the master I so valiantly served was vanquished at the hands of some hotshot hero. So when the high priest Hogan rose to power, I wasted no time in signing up to join his dishonorable Rex. <laughs> Alas, he even he was destined for defeat. Just my luck. The other skeletons looked down on me for switching sides. I'm even starting to think the downfall of these great leaders could be something to do with me. Sorry if these voices aren't doing it for you. I'm just guessing here. Bored, bored, I am bored. I am bored beyond belief. I'm going out of my skull with bottom, I tell you. It's nothing but ocean everywhere. I thought he was going to sing for a second. Ocean everywhere I turn. Water over this way, over water over that way. Just give me something to look at that's not the blooming horizon. Skelly bros have no luck, apparently. Hey, sup, dude? 
Who made you Hagen? How did those hated humans ever manage to defeat you? Did the whole world not come up before you after you obliterated Moonbrook? And then Moonbrook obliterated, uh, uh what do you call it? Malroth, so, <laughs> fuck you. <sighs> if only I'd risen from my grave in High Priest Hagen's heyday, I would have let him on death of luxury instead of being stuck here in this skeleton crew. Eh, that has two meanings. Oh. Oh, I didn't take damage. It just vibrated on me. Not on me, but you know. I'm going to talk to you second to last. Let's go up here. Oh, again, I really could use a zoom out. Wait. Zoom in, out. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. Oh god, a gremlin. What does his voice sound like? What is that? Thicking? Thickiving? Ski, skiving off of work, but thives? How do you pronounce that? I'm just gonna say thickiving. <laughs> Are you tiring of work too? I just feel I'm playing to ruin and I don't care who knows. Yeah, the voice is getting melded around. <laughs> I can't hold it. Thing hath your hill, I may have well asked you. Have you spoken to the rest of the crew for a menagerie of monsters? Earth. They're a friendly bunch, wouldn't you say? I just worry they've gone a bit off of... A bit soft since Argon was overthrown in peace return. Oh, skiving off work, I guess. Yeah, that would be my guess, too. But you better not get the wrong idea. Humans and monsters were never meant to mix. We're enemies. Always have been, always will be. More like a baby who can't talk right yet. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Let's just end this and kill ourselves, right? Geronimo! You'll take fall damage from a high place. Conserve your health by descending little by little. <laughs> oh, we can't kill ourselves. Alright, let's get our HP back. <laughs> I figured something like that would happen. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, we don't need that. Better learn now than in the heat of battle. Yeah, exactly. Near that. Again, I'm not going to bother with voices with the gremlins. It hurts me. You're that apprentice builder that we've nabbed in the camp, aren't you? I must admit, I feel a few pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that you are in this nigh. <laughs> Alright, a sort of voice, not really. Well, 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 if it isn't for the Master Builder. You're only an apprentice, but you're prancing around like you own the place. Honestly, you can't go anywhere that... This, 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 these... Okay, these days without bumping into an intol... Insolent insolent. Okay, geez. <laughs> insolent little builder helping on undoing all our hard work. The world is going down the pen. Pan, that's for sure. Our only choice is to eliminate the bothersome builders like you one by one. Crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh, this ship escapes swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. You can fly. You can avoid it. Well, I guess, no, technically you'd still see it going back and forth, and that could give you motion sickness. What's that? You want to know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. Higher-ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little Draki. What, Argerman? We're the last surviving members of the children of Hargorn. The ones who didn't get squished. We're going to... We're going to bring up... Bring this world to its knees. Out of the name of a guru in Gaulorius High Priest. What's with all the slurping? I'm just salivating at the prospect of squashing you gurmans once and for all. Okay, gross. Maiden Hall. Wait, what was your. What voice did I give you? I don't remember. <laughs> Maiden Hall, Kanik, Moonrook. 
Then forth these kingdoms did come the hated heroes, the science of Erdrick, who laid almighty Hargon low. British, okay. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Malroth, the Lord of Destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say. Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day we will reduce his this world to ruin. Oh, I remember, I was giving him a... giving him a different voice than that, but whatever. Voices always change whenever I do them. Anyway, you, I gotta remember as a, like, sort of like the pirate. Yeah, you're papyrus now. Stairs are no match for you, I see. You just can't keep a good lad down. <laughs> now, as you have no doubt have spotted, we're sitting on the open ocean. You've got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. I already did. I think you'd get very far anyway. You're not about skin and bones. Here, get this down to your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> I got a piece of kelp. Scarce can't remember the last time he ate. The thought of food makes his stomach start rumbling. He's filled with determination. No, no, no. <laughs> Wrong game. Believe it or not, this kelp can be eaten. Select it with this and then do it to replace your fullness and some help. All right, fine. I ate it. I'm smart. Damn one. That's pretty tasty, isn't it? The pungent aroma and slimy texture make for a spine tingling combination. You should thank your lucky stars you got to scoff at such a scrumptious snack because it'll be the last meal you'll ever eat. Excuse me. Yep, you heard me right. You'll be done soon enough. But don't worry, you won't be shuffling off this mortal coil just yet. I've got plenty of hard graft for you to be getting on with this. Yeah, I would gag too. Yay. So you're telling me you're gonna, I'm going to die, but you expect me to do some chores. Yeah, that's gonna happen. That's gonna work out for you so well. <laughs> you can wipe off that lily liver look off your face. I'm not going to send you to the cemetery anytime soon. So long as you've got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it. But you'll have to follow my orders to the letter. What's that? You want to know who we are and what you're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are, without a paddle, I might add, Go and talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. I thought I already spoke to them. If they repeat the same dialogue, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, you're there, I've just found Uh, barely that. We, uh, yeah, we got him in, he got us from Caitlin. I'm at the mid. I feel a pain. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you told me this. You're the only apprentice, but you're primarily only you own the place. Yes, we know. Thank you. This is all stuff we heard. And I'm not gonna hurt my voice doing this. There, I talked to them. I'm, I'm amazing. Look at me, I'm amazing. I'm so amazing. <laughs> so you talked to the rest of the crew, I heard. I'm beating for a blitter, aren't you? So now you know, we're last survivors of the children of Hagen, loyal servants of the mighty master of destruction himself. That means you build us our, our sworn enemies. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in our way. Yeah, you want to know what we're going to do with all these builders? Only the higher-ups know for sure, but I make no bounds about it. I reckon you lot are up for the chop. That doesn't mean we can't make the most of what little time you've got left. Just be thankful you can be of some benefit as your final moment draws ever closer. Hmm, we can't befriend you, huh? That'd be kind of cool. Listen up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars or worse, you'll do as I say. So here's the deal. Last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make things ship shape around here again. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwoods, turn around the deck, and bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, chop chop. Each piece of driftwood is marked with an icon. Run up to them, press the to punch it into something useful. I uh, can't punch him, huh? Nope. All right, so we can't punch those. Uh, 
Okay, do my chores for me because I am a lazy sack of bones. Exactly! I mean, obviously it's just get us used to the system and all that, but whatever. Did that show a happiness bar? Oh, my hunger meter. All right, I think that's everything. Yes, it is. Oh, there's running. That's how running works. Okay, good. Well, you ain't my deck looking. Looks much better shape now that you've picked up all that wood. No flies on you either. Flies on you, eh? Still, I suppose being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a kick up the coccyx. <laughs> I like that. You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, as a sworn servant of the mass of destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind, but considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. You wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this, right? Oh, of course not. I, I'm just this human you're talking to. You should confess all your stuff to me. I can absolve you of everything. Uh -huh. You're just going to kill me later. You know, no biggie. Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling onto your life for a little longer, I suggest you continue working like the beautiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things up. Just be careful that you, what you bash doesn't bash you back. Tell me all your dirty little secrets. Exactly! This is how things work here. Can I... Yeah, there's no durability on it, so I can't do that. Oh, that probably broke my fist. Ooh, build. Oh, cool. Okay, so that's the builder station. No, no, I I'm good, thanks. Can I break this? That'd be hilarious if I could. All right, no damage, just a bit of a stun. Ow. Uh, oh. What the hell? I guess um, my fist is too weak to break that. You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of that cell, you've been scurrying about my deck and chatting with my crew without a care in the world. You're kind of late on that, but sure. If anything, I'd wager you were actually enjoying this. There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? Faced with the same fate, most prisoners would be scared witless, but not you. Yeah, I'm special, apparently. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you. Hmm, it seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busy, or who knows what you might try to pull. Luckily, there's plenty for you to be getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on deck have got jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you've sorted them out. Listen carefully to the instructions about it. Okay. Three other mon other monsters on board have jobs for you to the builders. Know how you can tell whether they're not going to do anything soon to finish on the previous next one. I got that report back to me. Okay. Repeat dialogue. Uh huh. I'm jumping around. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrub around the deck, greedily pocketing all that wood you would, could find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all our navigation lights overboard. But such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish you to use the wood you collected to make some new torches. You see that worn-out workbench over there? Yeah, I can't keep his voice. <laughs> use it to make five torches. Here, I believe you need this oil to craft them. You have the torches. You must put them back in their proper positions. The five black blocks will be your sign there. There's one of the by the workbench and four more around the stairs that lead below jacks. Place one torch upon each block. Do not fail me, Builder. Craft five torches and put them in place. Return to me when you have finished the task. You can make torches of the bubble burger. We know. We just saw that. Thank you. Alright, five torches. Yay, I did the five torches. Let's make more. Torches can be placed on top of other blocks. Select the item with that and use that to put them down. Okay. Oh, and I fell. 
I just realized he does the Naruto run. Look. Hands it back and like, I'm Naruto, bitches! <laughs> Alright, enough of fun there. Oh, can I? No, I can't attack with it. And I fell again. I'm smart. And camera, stop doing that. It does look nice. Oh, I dropped one by accident. I don't want to place it. I want to pick it up. Can I... Can I pick it up? Oh, I have to break it apart to do that. Interesting. <laughs> it seems you have done exactly as I asked. The guiding flames burn brightly as before. For ship as ours, they could do with uh, being a touch more sinister, if I'd say so myself. But I shan't complain. The deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters. You will soon outlive your usefulness. But your walk is not over yet. There are others aboard this ship who might still have some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Yep, I completed that. Next. Oh, there's the bones, man. So. Well, I put it in the so called builder. Anyone think you own the place the way you're stretching around this deck? What's with the attitude? You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders, and you want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what, you can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good for nothing ship, as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I always wondered if builders can fight. How would you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Oi, you! Fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill me. <laughs> Alright, you better put them dukes up. I warn you, though, the built that skeleton soldier's a proper head case. Come and find me after the fight's finished. If you can still walk. I have to punch him to death? Uh-oh. No. He attacks. I punch. Uh-oh. Hmm. Can I... Oh. Ow. Oh, get away. That doesn't even tickle. Ow, quit it. Ow. Ooh, cut to the bone. Wait, really? Well, you're a better boxer than you look. I'll give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches of yours hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised that you're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. Oh, I should have paused there, sorry. That doesn't look exactly a build well for your future career, does it? Uh, my voices are messing up. Lucky you don't have a future to speak of at all. Okay. <laughs> Alright, be off with you. Go tell the bosun what a weakling you are. I'm a weakling. <laughs> you fight like a cow's cadaver. Your builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you had a weapon? <laughs> a likely story. You're... You're going to bash him upside the skull with one of them torches? You're such a wizard whipping up. Don't make me laugh. Huh? What's that book you got there? Eureka! Scarcy learns a new recipe. Dude, it's a pain in the butt to punch a skelly. Yeah, it is. Cypress stick. A broken branch whittled to work as a weapon. Don't you stand there smoking? Tell me what's so funny. You what? Just work out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never. Are you dreaming that people can invent things as well as make them? What a concept. Well, don't just stand around there looking gormless. Put your money where your mouth is and make the cypress stick then. You know where the workstation is, right? And one more thing, since you've made it, don't forget to equip it. A weapon's no use otherwise. You're being surprisingly helpful. Again. Yeah, they are becoming a little too familiar with us. Okay. When you acquire a new weapon, select it with that and press square to wield it. Try equipping the cyber stick to deal some extra damage. Yes. There we go. 
Uh, the boy genius returns, cypress stick in hand. Are you really up the pot? What do you say? Fancy another crack at the old bag of bones now that you've got a weapon? Yes. Yeah, that's the spirit. I want to watch that rotter try and put himself back together once you're through with him. Alright, wait for the... Okay, he has some reach. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, Gunbound fracture. Do I get, a, get an experience? No, I do not. Uh, a bone crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on then, lad. Go and brag about beating me to the bosun. I find it weird that a stick would do that. I want to take your sword. <laughs> well, you certainly gave that a bag of bounds a good hiding. Just look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. You what? You feel a bit sorry for him? Yeah, <laughs> that's a new one. I wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Take his skull and throw it overboard. <laughs> anyway, thanks for that builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. I think I learned it. Learned some. I think I. <clears throat> well, I stumbled over that. <clears throat> I even think I learned something today. You builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day just yet. Left by a long shot. I got a feeling in my bones there's someone else on board who needs a helping hand. And with that, I'm going to take some water. Okay, that's much better. Uh, no, okay, there's no response, just a pile of bones. What the? Yep, definitely just a pile of bones. You get no response out of me. <laughs> I actually like that. That was actually pretty funny. Oh, magician time! What's up, dude? My, my. You have been a busy little boy, haven't you? First you made those torches, now a cypress stick. But one can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? No. Alas, not. <clears throat> Other than that simple cypress stick, you haven't a single tool upon your person. Such a shame. Well. I think we ought to do something about that, haven't we? I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in the brig below decks. Now they are yours. With these equipped, you'll be capable of hoisting up a whole, ho mm, a whole host of objects without the need to smash them in the first. Ideal for organizing your articles in an orderly fashion. Well, that's good. So, without further ado, take your new found gloves, gather up all the barrels strewn higgledy piggledy around the deck, and place them on the mat beside me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sounded so haughty. <laughs> Use the gloves to move objects from one place to another. R2 to pick something up or put it down and press triangle to rotate. Okay. Wow, just wow. All right, so R2, D2. I got a barrel. What happens if I toss it out? Oh. Oh, really? That's worth venturing into at some point, but let's finish this first. I might do something with that later. Don't hump the air. There you go. Oh, Ben, I fell. Ugh. Camera, stop that. Oh, good, I remembered that right. I can look down and look up with the the left control sticks, uh, triggers. Wonderful work, six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that a pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any build budding builder. Yeah, building butter. <laughs> I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work-shy wastrels, but based on your showing, 
Just now I may have to reassess my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you will always be a builder, the eternal enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will be but short, but your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. You seem, you actually do seem friendly there. Like, he actually feared for our safety a little. It would appear that you have attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform the good captain that you require some more back-breaking chores. Alright, that's not so friendly. Oh, I can't lift these anymore. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, can I only lift some of these? Yep, only some of them. You can't place that there? How about here? Okay, so I can only go alongside it. I was thinking I could build out and just kind of go away, escape that way. I'm guessing they have, like, restricted areas where you can play stuff, so... Alright, we'll make this, a uh, bit of a head thing. I can run with a barrel! <laughs> yeah, don't tell PewDiePie, he hates them. Yeah. Unfortunate. Whatever. I'm gonna make their place look stupid, at least. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads has to do. Nice to see a human working his fingers to the bone for us monsters, and without a word of complaint either. If I doubted it before, I'm certain now. You actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? I am, Papyrus, I am. Still, I want to be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Do you enjoy building things? Yes. Yeah, of course you do. It's what gets you out of bed in the mornings. I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. You've set all, you've got all the missions of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live. Are we fighting? Are we gonna fight now? Win. What's with you builders being our mortal enemies and everything? I can't exactly have you running foul to stand building like a video, can now, can I? I'm sorry to say it, kid, but I'm going to have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now. Boss time! No? Yeah, just tickling your ribs. Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lop your noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin boy. That has some bad... Ugh, that just has some bad, uh... Phrasing in that. <laughs> hey, what's more, like the cut of your jib. What do you say, laddie? Will you join my skeleton crew? You don't have to see anything. I can tell you to overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. What's that big book you're lugging around? I've never seen anything like it before. It's my book. Huh? Where did this ring come from? Uh-oh. Well, you have to tell me later, Matty. Looks like there's another storm rolling in. Ah, Apprentice Builder, you will do nicely. Mysterious voice, bad touch, bad touch. Um, I'm pressing buttons. This is your world to create and yours to destroy. I'm pressing buttons, please go ahead. You're good. I, I read it. Now, come to me, my child. Show me on the doll when the voice when the voice touched you. <laughs> Oi, clap ears, what are you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rum blue ducks in, into the hold. It's far too dangerous up here for a land lover like you. Okay. Do 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 do. Just gonna fall, apparently. And I died. I just kind of like st stood there and was like, oh, too much. Captain! Come 
to the hold quickly when you did go go down here. Blimey, I don't like the sound of this. Hold tight, I'm on my way. <laughs> You're right there, Belter. But I got to be stopping to help some human. I got to get to the hold. See, again, concern. How can preserve us? This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your boring backside in here, Pronto. I need your help. I'm too busy being dead. I, I can pick this up. I'm picking this up. And I can open the door, and I can magically put this through walls. I love this. Over here, Builder! Hey, sup? What's up? What the heck is on all, eh? I've got bad news, Builder. We've been swept right into a reef and a rock gun. Rock's gone clean through the hull. We can fix this fast. We'll be heading down to Davy Jones' locker. I don't know if this'll work, but try cramming a crate into that hole. You got a pair of gloves, don't you? So use them. Can I put this in there? Nope. All right, screw you. Please, better plug up these holes before I see- Oh, there's more? Stuff a crate in every gap you see and save my ship. That was a closer shave than I have liked, but you did it! Okay, never mind. You've saved my- Oh, there we go. Not more holes! Where are they now? Oh, I would take in more water! You have to do something! Some more crates to plug up those holes! Sure. I guess barrels don't work. It actually makes sense. I did the thing! You're a lifesaver! Bildor, no, I owe you one! Oh, cool. Does that mean he won't kill me? Better run in with that rock has made mince me to my hole! The next wave that hits us could... And we die. Ah, I knew it! It's a race against time, Bildor! Cram some more crates in those holes and hurry! Round thing in a square peg. Yeah, why not? This is Dragon Quest IV battle music, I think. I did the thing! I'm awesome! Look at me jump up and down. Hey, Slime, what's up? Belter, you gotta do something! I'm going to get squashed into the ocean and I don't know how to swim! You'll float. You're, you're a slime. You sold up my ship good and proper, Boulder! I don't know where we'd be without you, because, you know, the concept of lifting a of uh, something myself is just, you know, foreign to me. <laughs> to hold for now, but who knows how much long... Uh, oh, throw me a bone! We're done for! <laughs> Holy moly, look at that one. We don't have any crates big enough to plug a hole that size. That's it, Builder. It was nice knowing you. Don't forget me, Builder! Again, it, that sounds like they like him. Ooh. Square Enix did it. Hey, I have blue hair, not blonde. Oh, hi, Hargon. You back? Whoa. A little darker. Hey, again, I don't have blonde hair. I have blue. Builder. Two. I have blue hair. Oh, it's a demon dude. Oh, look at all the stuff we created already. <laughs> Yay, we're awesome.
I wonder if this is referencing the online element. Good job, you kicked some rubble. <laughs> I'm guessing that guy is like our token good monster teammate or something. But he's humanoid, so it works. Ooh. I actually got a little goosebumps. That's a lot of Dragon Quest 2 reference there. Shipwreck Survivor. I earned a trophy. I am so good. Yay. Because I did that the tutorial. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Yep, that was the whole game. Yay! <laughs> the trophy is a giant pixel box. Yeah, they don't show up uh, because it's PS4 and all that. They try not to show achievements on stream because... some reason. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and we died. Well, that sucks. Oh, never mind. We're alive. Scarcy awakens on the sandy shore. It seems he has washed up on the desert island, on a desert island, along with the wreckage of a, the skeleton's ship. He decides to look around to see what he can see. Not much. I, gotta, I have kelp to eat, so that's cool. Okay. Get some wood, why not? Oh, I can get some sand, too. Some of these blocks I can't take. How's the durability of my cypress stick going? Is it infinite? Usually, there used to be durability on all your weapons. You know what, I'm gonna... I don't like this water here slowing me down. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> I was pressing the wrong button. Why can't I place it there? I want to place it there. Nah, screw it. Can I get more kelp? I mean, it's something at least. It's not great, but... Alright, I can't get stone. I can get sand and... More logs. Apparently I can't drown. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. That wasn't a thing before, I think. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've done Builders 1. I still have, like, some achievements to get in that, too. Alright. Well, that's this area. May as well eat kelp. Get our hunger meter up. Ooh, a treasure chest. I'll take that in a moment. Alright, nothing else here. Suddenly, Scarcy hears a voice. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. What? Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Scarcy may be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. Okay, thank you. I want treasure. Kelp. Yay, more kelp. Can I? Okay, cool. This chest is now mine. Alright, wants me to go through there. I'm guessing I can't... Yeah. So I have to go through this way. Alright, enough of that. Come on, come on. Get, go. Isle of Awakening, land of infinite opportunity. And this song is from Dragon Quest V. I think it's the church theme, or at least the, one of the church themes. Looks nice.
Oh, okay, this makes sense. I took up a. I just picked up a pile of rubble in one throw. All right, I can't grab that. May as well keep getting kelp since it's our only food source. The sky is such a strange color. Have I died and gone to heaven or hell, more likely? Huh? What was that noise? Oh, it was the girl. Or got? No, no, it's the demon dude. Hey, Spiky, who the heck are you? I don't really have a voice for him. I didn't even know who was talking before. Can I hit you? No, I can't. Who am I? I don't know. I don't feel like talking to you. I want to get more kelp. It's my diet of choice, obviously. Oh, delicious kelp. Mmm. Alright, enough of that. Finally, a live one. Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? We? You were on that ship that sank, and then he woke up on this beach? So how come you didn't cark it, too? What's your story? I'm awesome. Your name's Scarcy, and you're an apprentice builder? Huh. Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, my name's Malroth. Oh. Hey. You want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. I wonder if I could have messed with him by like putting blocks there before anything, but whatever. What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. That doesn't bode well if his name is Malroth, unless he was named after the God of Destruction and not actually it's this way. Look at them, they're dead, it's funny. Uh -huh. Now that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you've never seen anything like this before. It's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> Seems like you and me are the only survivors from that shipwreck. I don't even remember you. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... Cough splutter. What the... <laughs> hey, that girl isn't dead after all. I'm not a doctor, what do you expect? She sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. We should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. Okay, let's do it. It's not working. Why won't it work? <laughs> Die. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, gasp. <laughs> Where am I? How did I get here? You're pirates, aren't you? Filthy freebooting brigands who shall take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return. <laughs> there she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? That's an entendre right there. There's only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? You want to kill her? Okay. There's no response, it's just a corpse. Oh, it really was. And washes the body out to sea. Even the slime? It's just a corpse. Aw, dead slime. Oh, he's... He's gathering stuff for me. Cool. I didn't realize he did that. Okay, cool. That, that didn't used to be a thing. Usually the party mates, the only thing they did was uh, get you... Get you, uh, what do you call it? Enemies off of you. Hey, sup? Get away from me, you villains! If you're going to take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I got here. Well, we're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. No, they're washed away, actually. You must have washed up here with Scarcy when your ship sank. Just a moment. Do I know you? Mm. Yes, I remember. You're that builder from the ship. The one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked orders at you. I know you were in cahoots with them, so that means this is all your fault. Well, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to let Malroth kill you. <laughs> You're going to make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? 
Oh, well, all right. Even a rank amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn-out workbench outside to make the most basic ascensions. I'm Lulu, by the way. Now, well, what will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let's let me see. Lulu's demands! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just looks funny as me. We'll need shelter from the elements while we wait around to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then. The walls must be at least two blocks high, and we'll need a door for getting in and out of. Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix the place up. We could salvage some of the decking from the wreckage to patch up any holes. Just use those gloves of yours to pick it up. You won't have to worry about the splinters that way. Pork food on a bonfire. We have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us, so we'll need to find us enough sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. <laughs> LOL, yeah. <laughs> There's bound to be a scallywinkle or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on a bonfire first. You need some wood to build a fire. Luckily, there are plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the shipwreck lying about. I forgot to do that for wood, so there you go. You may as well put them to use. Build some beds. Now, I can't be expected to put my head down for the night on these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm going to get my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters, so we're going to have to make do with the three piles of straw... I'm sorry. <clears throat> straw bedding. Place them in the room when you're done. Hey, don't go telling us what to do, bossy boots. Who made you the leader anyway? Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. You don't even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt. I don't know. That looks fine. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those oh-so-mighty muscles. I think she protests too much there. She's totally into him. <laughs> Say that again and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. Oh, Builder, you'll do these little favors for me, won't you? you save me from this savagery. No. Pardon? I can't hear you for the waves crashing on the shore. I'll ask again. you save me from the savagery. No. Yeah, it's, it's a but thou must situation. Yes. That's wonderful. I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises if you like. Then, when you have a fully fledged... I'm sorry. When you become a fully fledged builder, you'll have me to thank for it. Malroth, go ahead, killer. Please, just go ahead, do it. <laughs> training exercises? Who does this girl think she is? Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery? Well, how about we put her out of our misery instead? Yes. Go ahead, do it. Do it now. All right, fine. We gotta make a room. That girl really gives me the hump. Oh, boy. <laughs> really? Well, there... You have a strange fetish, then, sir. First, she won't stop whinging, and then the moment she wants to something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. You third that option? Yes. <laughs> Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day, not her lackey. Yeah, yeah, I know she's stranded here, too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a sloppy sad case. She's a castaway at the end of the day. Same as us. You gotta look out for number one. That's my motto. By the way, there's something I mean to ask. You said you were a builder? Is that, like, something to do with a duck's nose? What? 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 Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you. But only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which of her errands you'll do first? If it's up to me, I'd mend those walls while we're here. Just stuff some planks in the holes and presto. We've build, we built her ourselves a new, brand new room, right? To be honest, I blanked out the rest of her requests. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. I don't blame you, honestly. Malroth is our bro now. For now. I have feelings that... The, Based on the master, the god of destruction is named Malroth, that he somehow is going to be him or... Anyway, room! We got room. And I got a trophy, you can't see it, but it's beginner brickle. Scars... Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Scarcity, you repaired my room! Now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base of predators. Just so you know, a room must have a door and walls at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. I know this because I'm a bitch. 
<laughs> anyway, I am ever so happy to have a proper place to stay. And you two are very welcome to stop by any time you like. Oh, we're stopping by there when we feel like it, bitch. God, she's reminding me of Deborah from Dragon Quest V DS. <laughs> we made a room. Now we have to make a bonfire, I assume? Well, <clears throat> sorry. Well, she seemed pretty satisfied with the new room. Right, next up is dinner. She wanted us to cook some of those scally winkle things on a bonfire, didn't she? Is that something you can do? I just think about it and then suddenly I could do it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Big bundle of branches that burns brightly can be used to cook food. What's the deal with that book? <laughs> that book? Huh? You just invented bonfires and I could build one if you have enough materials? All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn out workbench. I'm done with the little robot voice thing, by the way. Well, if it's oil you need, I can give you some. That sounds disturbing. I run this out of a slime that got in my way earlier. Here. Oh, that's even more disturbing. All you need now is wood. <laughs> I have... My humor is very immature. That girl said you can get some from the driftwood in broken barrels on the beach, whatever that means. Got wood. <laughs> Sounded like he had some wood for her, even though he hates her. <laughs> anyway, you better get that bonfire belt. No, you're starving her. It'll only put her in even a worse mood than she's already in. But it'll kill her. That'd be nice. That needs... That needs to be a shirt. <laughs> yeah, with the character on there. Oh yeah, we already got bonfire ingredients, so... I'll take one. Womp 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 womp. Alright, do we put it in the house, I guess? Yeah, we'll put it right here. What's that you made? It's hot as heck and it spits and crackles. It must be bonfire! But, are you sure you know what you're doing with the... You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? You can use a bonfire to cook food. Put it an ingredient and put it on a... Okay, thank you. Now we gotta find a scallywinkle. Hey, Mr. Guy Dude. Things might sound different because I'm playing on the PS4. There's also no alerts or anything because PS4 is streaming. Hmm. If I attack this, will you get more? No, you won't. Alright, we. I can't attack that. This is going to be a shorter stream than normal. Can I break this? Alright, I can't break barrels. But I'll take the barrel. And move it away. Oh good. He's going to help me get more... Never mind. I'm getting structure material. There you go. So basically he follows my lead. That's what I'm getting out of this. Hey, Scarcy, I want to ask you something. I keep hearing about making and materials and builders, but what does any of that even mean? I'm summarizing some of his voice. These match things that you find here, and they're to get materials, which you use to make new stuff. That's what being a builder is all about. Ah, okay. I think I'm starting to get a clear picture of what it is you guys do. How come I don't know already? Look, they might be... Ten a penny where you come from, but I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. <laughs> well, not that I remember, anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful, builder-free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. You know those scallywinkles Lulu was asking for? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them all for ourselves. I'm assuming they're in water. Oh, I got rocks. Yay, rocks. Yeah, still can't break that. It doesn't look like he can break it either. He only has his fists. Oh, Scally... Excuse me, Scallywinkle. What's that funny looking thing you got there? You wouldn't be one of those Scallywinkles that girl was jabbering on about by any chance. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn, and that's something I'd rather avoid. No kidding. Thank you. 
Thank you again. Oh, we got a slime over there. Is that a wild one that we have to attack? Yep, it is. And this is where we can get more oil. Okay. Well, so far, Malroth's being amicable, at least. Can you... Alright, so he doesn't really help me out all the time. Not directly, anyway. He does it when he feels like he needs to, or something. Actually, what I'm picking up out of this is he... If there's something... If I'm attacking something to get materials, he takes my cue and mimics it to the same thing. So if I do that, he goes for the food as well. If I go for logs, he goes for logs. All right, we can't take that. I can't... Oh, there we go. I'm taking this with us. Long and short of it is, we were captured on a ship, but then... Because uh, monsters don't want builders in the world because, you know, we're going to rescue them and rescue the world and they don't want that. And they uh, ended up in a storm and ended up, well, wiping out. So now it's just me and this girl are the only survivors. And this guy claims he was on the boat, but has no memory of it. So whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, cook. Careful, Scarcy. The Scallywinkle just fell in the fire. Ah, that must be how you cook it. So, you builders can make food, too, eh? Still, it'll be a little while till that Scallywinkle's completely cooked. Let's go and look for some more materials while we wait. Food takes a little time to cook. Just try to be patient. It'll be ready before you know it. All right, how about sand? We could always use sand. I could also make another room if I felt like it, too. Scarzy makes his first seared scallywag. That aroma. Is that the smell of succulent seared scallywinkle? I must have it. No. What? Look here, Builder. Stop playing games and hand over that scallywinkle. No. All right, fine. Oh, nom, nom, nom. No. <laughs> ah, ah, the scent of a seaside com seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly crunch of the sand grains. Simply irresistible, ew. But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything that looks vaguely edible, try cooking it on the bonfire. I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw raw fare, and it makes me feel healthier, too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. Yeah, okay, fair, fair. All right. Oh, how rude of me. I just realized I never asked your names. Scassi and Malroth, you say? I do know you're a builder, Scassi, but what do you do, Malroth? Well, I'm... Actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory's completely blank. Well, well, an apprentice builder and his amnesiac... amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like him, you must be dreaming. Really? Uh, speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that seared scallywinkle has filled me up nicely. Total partners. Yeah, we're totally gonna be bros at the end of this. It's gonna be like me and Eric. We're gonna be bros like hell. <laughs> so, Scassi, how progress with the straw bedding I asked you to make. I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. I thought about it, and now I can make it. Yay! Yeah yeah <laughs> Basic building. Okay. Here we go. He got his book out again. What have you been in this time? Is that so? You reckon you can make straw bedding out of dry grass? Well, I think we saw some dry and grassy, something dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Could that be what you're looking for? Okay. Well, in the meantime, let's try cooking kelp. We'll leave it there for now. 
Maybe that, that bitch will get off her ass and cook stuff for us when we uh, give her stuff, since she doesn't want to go out and do stuff. I'm not saying telling her to get back into the kitchen. I'm just saying if she wants, uh, she could at least contribute in some way. Do you want to make strong anyway? I guess is that right? Pretty sure it's about it. Okay, thank you. Ow, quit. But yeah, I, I mean, like, just be useful or something. Can always bring the chest over to drop stuff off in it. <gasps> smart! That's a smart idea. After I get all this. Have you played this before, uh, No Life Queen? Like, one of the builders? I forgot about the chest, to be honest. Nope, never owned them. H oh, have you watched before? Or if not, then that was really smart thinking. <laughs> and if you have, that's still really smart thinking. <laughs> you watched them? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and just gather stuff up for a little bit. May as well get everything we can and then we can drop stuff off, like you said. But yeah, getting enough food is a good idea. Alright, Naruto run on the water. <laughs> I'm gonna check on the food and then uh, eat it. I'll take a potato chip and eat it! First crispy kelp. Oh, that does do more. Alright. I'll place this and cook that. Nursing a headache right now? Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, definitely take some, like, Advil, Tylenol, whatever. Right, let's go find that chest. Weather here is not nice. Uh, Florida, tropical stuff. Makes sense. It's probably really hot. Like, right now in my room it's nice because uh, we have central air. I don't know, I, I just want to take it. There we go. No, no, don't. Don't pick it up. I meant to run. We we're getting hit with the storms that are hitting New Orleans. Oh god. Definitely stay safe. Make sure everything, you know, is secure in your place. Oh, how do I rotate it again? Uh, that's down and up. Uh, I'm trying to remember, how do you rotate it again? They told me how. That's picking up. Ugh. Yeah, I can't remember for now. There's tons of rain and nasty pressure changes. Gotcha. Anyway, may as well set something to cook. It looks like that chest doesn't functionally work as a chest, though. Anyway, straw furniture. Let's make three. Very good. Maybe eventually I'll be able to give uh, my partner here a... Uh, a weapon of his own. Anyway, we'll put... One there. One there, and one there. This is wonderful, Scassi. You made a bed for me and a couple of yourselves, too. Taking a nap during the day will help to recharge our energies. And after the sun goes down, we'll be able to while away the dark and dangerous night in Dreamland. <sighs> I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder and on a desert island, no less. I'm sure they'd be glad that you're not in their house and bothering them. 
When the children of Hagen attacked my hometown, uh, Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood. So I stood away on that accursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths, but I was caught before I had the chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. Good to know. Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be marooned on a desert island with these two lumbering lummoxes, but I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in these trying times. I'm sure they're doing desperately not to watch over you. Anyway, thank you both ever so much for sorting our sleeping arrangements, even though I called you lazy lummoxes. <laughs> it's been a long, hard day. I suggest we all get some well and dressed. There we go. May as well keep cooking. Let's see now. You repaired the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me supper. I do believe that's everything. I must say it's a real relief to have a builder around, and judging by the quality of your work, one would never imagine you were still only learning the ropes. Oh, that's a compliment in here. I know we're stranded here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do so that you might blossom as a builder. Yeah, that's the excuse. <laughs> the castaway life may be a little less luxurious, luxurious than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. Yeah, if you could warm up faster, that'd be nice. And as for you, Malrath, this could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture, and maybe even some manners. Oh, go screw yourself. <laughs> now then, Scarcy, I want you to go out at first light every morning and forge 30 scallywinkles and 50 strips of kelp. It must be all cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. How about you cook? <laughs> Kill her! Exactly. Hey, if she, you know what? I would put up with this if she was at least cooking for us too, you know, or doing something around the base to help us. I thought Lulu, I thought Lulu might calm down a bit once she got what she wanted, but now she's just as big a pain in the neck as she was before. Still, I'm impressed. Despite her nagging, you made everything we needed to stay alive. Wish I could do what you do. <sighs> hey, Scarcy, can I have a go at that workbench? I want to try making something myself. Okay. Right over here. I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, Scarcy. I'm going to be a builder just like you. Now then, what was it you do first? Uh, no, that's not right. Where did you get that hammer? Damn it, why isn't this working? Please don't break our workbench. All right, you asked for it. Ah! What did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. Why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Oh, I'm sorry, Malroth. Ah, forget it. I thought making stuff would be at all fun and games, but it's actually harder than it looks. Sorry, Scarcy. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you even things out and made something for me. You know what? I'm actually okay with that. You actually helped out. You deserve some things. Granted, she gave us ideas. That's about it. I learned a new recipe. Yay! Ooh, an oaken club. That's nice. Can only be used by Malroth. Hey, that, I was thinking about that too. Sure, let's do it. Is that for me? What would I want with a silly old stick? It's not just any stick, it's an oaken club. I can use it to whack stuff? <laughs> that sounds right at my alley. All right, I'll take it. Give it here. Sarsa gives open club to Malroth, and then he bashes us, bashes our heads in while we sleep, and uh, rules the world. <laughs> hey, this really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Only one way to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings. You're hitting me. Stop hitting me. Good job, you basically took my head off. <laughs> I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes will be so much more satisfying now. 
And to think you made it here using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. Thanks, Garcy. This club is the best present anyone's ever given me, I think. Well, you know, the gift of life counts, too, I would think. Huh? Scarcy, can you feel that? Sure. Okay, good. Sorry, I was just checking my phone real quick. Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster. But whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. <laughs> this will be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. The monster's somewhere down the coast to the west. Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. A new destination on your map. I haven't really been looking at the map very well. But let me get, take a little water break here. <sighs> that was a lot of talking. <laughs> oh, and I also got food ready, so I may as well have that. You do need food. I do. Let's place another one of you on here and cook. There we go. Oh, that, that revitalized him big time. Alright, so I have the cypress stick and he has the club. Oh, nice. Thank you. That kelp will be our emergency food if we need to need it to be. Hmm, we can only Naruto run for a little bit apparently. A group of monsters deck. It's a big rat. Let me get the slimes off of him. Though he seems to have this. Ow! Ooh, we're getting experience? Oh, cool, we get experience now. We didn't in the last one. Whoa, what was that? When you stuck your hand out just then, I got this irresistible urge to slap it. He's learning what, what fi high fives are. That's cute. It's called a high five? It's something friends do to celebrate a job well done? Huh, never thought to myself as the touchy-feely type, but maybe I can make an exception for this high five malarkey. Anyway, how did you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fitter already. Oh, yay! I'm glad they actually incorporated levels again. Malroth gets stronger and Scarcy reaches level 2. His maximum HP increases. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> well, good whacking that rat, right? It's like an irritating little itch has been well and truly scratched. But don't forget, you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to... You want to... I'm sorry. <clears throat> If you want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster mansion to me. Still, building looks like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do, but I guess wanton destruction is more my bag. Anyway, let's head back to that hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. She's a wily one, all right? You better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Well, I was thinking about that. You'd probably kill us, too, because you have that club now, but... Mm. Scarcy. I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together? Just you and me. But... Let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second. Okay. Resting in bed during the daytime will store your health, but climb into bed at night and you'll go straight to sleep and wake up the bright eyed and bushy tailed next morning. Or don't sleep at all, like I do. <laughs> well, just get a couple extra materials. I wonder if I leveled up just from doing the, what do you call it, all the quests rather than the fighting itself. And maybe only Malrath levels up? Because I'm wondering if we can actually grind or, like, our levels up or something. Or maybe they have a protection cap where like you can only get experience from certain monsters for so long before they wear off. Alright, let's collect this. Get one last bit of cooking in place. I didn't mean to eat it right away, but okay, fine. And by morning, we'll be good. <laughs> ah, 
Good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast from the bee. Eee! No! What is it, Lulu, a monster? It's my scallywinkle. It's disappeared. What? All right, now, Ruff, own up. I know it was you. I purposely only ate half of that served scallywinkle last night so I could have the rest for breakfast. Get back this instant. I already have plenty, you dumb... Mm. What are you wittering about? I haven't touched your manky half-munched mollusk. Huh? Wait, huh? That aura, what's going on this time? Hey, you two, you're gonna wanna see this. Aha, that's the culprit. The monster must be the one who snapped my, snaffled my skellywinkle. Oh, 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 green giant. No. All right, that was impressive. Right, that was very impressive. Wataboo, is that you? Whoa, it just took down the whole cliff? And are those steps? Oh, <laughs> this way, young whip whip whippersnappers! I hope you're a good monster. Floating free can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Hmm, on second thought, maybe it'd be able to tell us something about this island. Scarcy, Lulu, let's go after that monster. I've got some questions that need answering. It's a full party time, right? But let me first collect. Can I give her a weapon? Yeah, she probably's not gonna help out. I'm, I'm not gonna bother wasting the wood. Besides, I don't need her conking me with it when I decide not to do her stuff. Yeah, he's helping, she's not. Yeah, she's not gonna do shit. Suddenly, I feel like this is like Harry Potter, and this is my much more annoying Hermione and my more competent Ron. <laughs> Oh, oh, this way, this way. Quick, quick, quickly now. Sure, let us just do that, you know? We'll just teleport over. Yeah, stay where you are, you freaky fogey. I don't like this one bit. That mad old monster's even made his... Made the sky turn a funny color. Did he? Oh, you're right. Who cares about that stupid sky? I want my breakfast and you two are going to jolly well help me get it back. I mean, yeah, she's a bitch, but she's she's smart-ish. I guess, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, vines. That's something new, cord. And I could use that to uh, make new, uh, new ways to climb up these places. Any other new ingredients around? Oh, cool. I just noticed the map is in 8-bit. That's cool. I love it. Oh, get some cord. Oh, good. He's helping out. He can one-shot them. Instead of, like, the two I have to do. Can I? Nah, I can't. Can I lift it? I can! This is mine now. <laughs> Just like that chest that didn't do much for us either. I'll hold off on getting more cord for now. This way, kid, kid, kitty winkles. Nearly there. Uh, please don't do something mean to us, gross to us, I mean. Because that, that, I don't like being called a Teddy Winkle, that just sounds awful. He's leading us on a wild goose chase. Does that horrid hammer hood expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? I could just build my way up there. That monster's got some kind of strange power. I never felt anything like it. We need to catch up. 
I definitely could just, cut, you know, build my way up, but whatever. We may as well do this the straightforward way. I don't like that we can only run for short bursts. <laughs> Well, at least my companions can jump. In the first one, companions really couldn't jump very high. And they would get stuck and have to go all the way around to get places. It got ridiculous at times. And you always had to build ways to get them up. Whoa! Ooh, treasure. What police? What's a place like this doing on a desert island? Come on, Scarcy. The hammerhood's just up ahead. Let's make it spill the beans on the, all the island's secrets. Please don't tell me we're on the lost island, because that that's, would suck so much. A hammer? There's no escape now, you sneaky scallywinkle swindler. Just hand over that bivalve and no one gets hurt. Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry ham ham hammerhood for half snarfed leftovers. I'll tolerate no excuses. Stealing is stealing. No ifs or buts about it. Scarcely seared that scallywinkle, especially for me. Now give it back, you horrible, hoary. Whoa, hoary. Jeez, dude. Hairy hermit. She also, she also likes the alliterative uh, insults there. Ah, oh, yes, Scarcely. It just so happens that I've been waiting for a builder to rock, rock, rock up here for. Oh, uh, for a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know he's a builder? Oh, you're an observant one, aren't you? Why, the very reason I pinched that scrum, scrum, scrumptious scallywinkle was to lure your fine friend up here. Look around you, Scarcy. This temple has lain in this sorry state for longer than I can recall. If you are the builder I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix, fix, fix it. Everything you need to rebuild the temp temp temple is right here in these chests. But a fresh faced builder like you might find that the going dif dif difficult without a blueprint as a guide. Come back here, you conniving old codger! If you think we're gonna fix your house for free, you got another thing coming. Anyway, what, what's a blueprint? I have to think and then I could do it. What the? Uh, wh what? <laughs> Scurvy draws out a mountaintop temple blueprint. Alright. So we need masonry walls and braziers. Braziers. We need, you know, ladies braziers. <laughs> Scarcely, why did you draw the, these lines on the ground? Is this one of those blueprints the hammer group was telling us about? Gosh, you never have ever been here before, but you were still able to drop a design for the mountaintop temple. That's incredible. Thank you for the compliment to Lulu. Now all you have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprint to the block now. If that little loony was telling the truth, those chests contain everything you need to finish the job. Looks like all you need to, need to do is place masonry wall blocks in squares and put a brazier on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Are you ready to show Gary Glows a lot how a real builder does things? Keep one eye on the blueprint and you can't go wrong. Gary Glows a lot? <laughs> Build, built to spec. Press the... Oh, yeah, that button. When you're standing on a blueprint, to view more info about it. Check the blueprint as you build and make sure every block is in its rightful place. Well, I got... Hey, I got amazing braziers here, so whatever. Oh, that's the map. Oh, there we go. Here, go away for a second. Masonry walls. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
so many stupid things I could be saying with it. But okay, so we just gotta go boop and a boop. We're gonna boop a bunch of boops here. <laughs> I like how I just placed it on him and he just like teleported above it. You know, you guys could kind of move off of this and let me get to work, you know. Oh, grabbed one a little too easily, I mean, too eagerly there. Well, just teaching me about blueprints and all that, but okay. Not the worst type of tutorial. At least it's not telling me how to catch a Pokemon. Ugh. For the millionth time. It's got to complete the Mountaintop Temple Blueprint. Yay! More water. Excuse me. Good work, Scarcy! You finished the blueprint! And it didn't even break a sweat! I think I'll have you build me a palace next. That shouldn't be any trouble for an expert like you. Answer me one thing, though. How did you come up with the blueprint in the first place? <laughs> Wait, I think I know the answer. The book, big book on your back has everything you need to know to be a builder written inside. You're busted now, Scarcy. The secret's out, so you may as well let me read it. You won't? Why not? Something the matter, Scarcy. You've gone all red. Wait, you don't have a mucky magazine sandwich between the pages, do you? Muggyness doesn't matter to me. A quick wipe down with a damp cloth and it'll be good at- Oh my god, there there's some real big entendres there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. You finished repairing the temple, I see. I knew you would, would, wouldn't would let me down. All it took was a glance and you drew up that blueprint as quick, quick, quick as a flash. You're the real deal, Scarcy. A builder board in bread, bread, bread. I could go for some bread, bread, bread. <laughs> As a thank you for your hard work, 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 I'd like to give you a little present. Here, you deserve it for the crack, crack, cracking job you did. A hammer? Yay, a hammer! Yeah. It's hammer time! Yeah. Bash blocks the bits with this, with big hard hits. A steady old hammer? I thought you were going to give me back my breakfast! That's a giant mallet, an indispensable item in the toolkit kit, kit of any self-respecting builder. With that hammer in your hand, you can break, break, break blocks you couldn't before and gather even more materials. Yay! I also have a cook, cook, cooking gift for you, Scarcy. I'm sure you like this one. Is it a dead Lulu? Oh, please let it be a dead Lulu. I give you... This island. All of it. Every last block, block, block. What? You're giving him an entire island? All he did was repair the temple! <laughs> Yay, island! We have land ownership now. This world was once home to a legendary builder. They came to this island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn it into their very own piece of paradise. You don't say. This song's from Dragon Quest VI. But now, everything has crum crum crumbled away. All that remains is an ancient builder's belief, embed, bed, bedded in the blocks beneath us. All right. How big is this island? In the first game, we kind of got teleported around. Long have I awaited for another builder to come. One who can bring life back to this bare land. Block by block, block, block. Anyone scarcely here to do all the hard work? We don't even know what we're supposed to build. And we don't even know who you are either. I bet this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, my mind. I'll have you know that I'm the guardian spirit of this island, and what I say goes. 
Well, it looks like you've just become a proud owner of our private island, Scarcy. Are you going to take the offer? If you do accept, would you mind if I stayed here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. Is she showing humility? <laughs> I'll stick around, too. At least, until I've got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. What do you see, Scarcy? We'll take the island. It's a stunk, stunk, stunking good offer. What if I say no? Honestly, Scarcy, Papa always said you should never look a gift horse in the mouth, and you're looking so hard you can see right out the other end. Oh, wow. What do you see, Scarcy? We can take a song. You see, no, uh, yeah, same thing. But thou must. I just like to see their the reactions. I just knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can begin work on Lulutopia. The first thing I want is a palace. Now, you need to. Lulu and Telpia, I don't think so. Today we established Nara's empire of evisceration. Of evisceration, right, Scarcy? And she could be our first sacrifice. Oh, I like I like his plan. Let's go with his plan. Who all in favor of Malroth's uh whatever he said of evisceration? <laughs> oh, 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 you young upstarts. This island belongs to Scarcy now. You should leave the big 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 decisions to leave like these up to him. Now, Scarcy, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Hey, no life queen. Yes, I, <laughs> we got one, two votes for that now. <laughs> Come up and see if you can break, break, break this wall behind me. There's an absolutely smash, smash, smashing treasure back there that I think you'll be very interested in. Hammers are perfect for bashing hard blocks. Press the R2 button for a single strike. Or press and hold to hit it continuously. You can switch tools anytime by pressing X. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of amused that I could just strafe it. Oh! I can collect chests now. I'll be taking those. It doesn't look like they have the durability system now. I'm debating on maybe taking the stairs too. Well, let's eat a little bit, too. Alright, not those ones. I wish my my uh, entourage here could hold the items for me, too. What kind of wood is this? Arid earth. Oh, okay. I was just curious. I got a notice board. I don't see any treasure. Was I supposed to read the notice board first? I did that. You find a smash smash treasure, treasure behind it. I probably was supposed to uh, read it first. Whoopsie. Alright, fine. No, no. Place it. Why can't I? Let me place it. There. You call that a treasure? It look, just looks like a tally old notice board to me. It may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is, in fact, a portal through which a builder may peek, peek, peek into other dimensions. I'll explain more later, but now just peer into the portal and marvel at the knock, knock, knock out things you see. The notice board is where builders go to share their favorite snaps. Use it when you want to show off or need a spark of inspiration. You must be connected to the network to access the notice board. You must create an account if you want to enjoy the game's online features. Uh, if I have to create one now, I'm going to skip it. Okay. Uh, geez, really? I'll have to read this later. But yeah, if it tells me to make an account now, I'm going to just skip it for now, because uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, I registered my account already. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, cool. Temple first. A test. 
Oh, I like, I like, hey, he has a different hairstyle. Why didn't I get a hairstyle? Oh, Harvest Festival? Huh. What the hell is all this? We can fly eventually? Okay, well, that was fun. Oh, you did, did you like what you saw, young, young, youngins? Oh, yes, I saw the most wonderful photographs, and there's so many of them. I hope Scarcy takes the time to snap a few himself. I can be his model. And then he can post them on the notice board and share them with the world. Oh, you young, young, youngins, enjoy yourselves. You and your selfies and all. <laughs> Come and find me when you're done, done, done. I'll be right out here. Open the menu and press the to enter snapshot mode. You can store up 99 snapshots. I am not... I am not making a snapshot right now. Oh, do you like a new notice board? Snake times at paradise. As long as you have one of those boards nearby, you can flip over the laws of space and time and observe your, the work of other builders whatever you, whenever you desire. And you can put your creations on display for other builders to view too. I'm sure you can see that notice board is a soup, soup, super source of ideas and inspiration. Half of that was complete gibberish to me, but if it helps you build the palace of my dreams, I'm all for it. Speaking of which, I can't see you making much progress on that anytime soon. There's only, there's one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. It's this island. There are hardly any raw materials, and I don't think even a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Oh, oh, oh. I knew that little lass, lass, lassie. You should maybe just take out the L on that and just call her assy. <laughs> There is only one way to get your hands on the materials you need. Track, track, track them down elsewhere and bring them back here. Oh, just like that. Are we going to make a boat? As the young dum dum dazzle damzo <laughs> pointed out, this island is more than a little lack, lack, lacking in useful materials for an aspiring builder. But even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you could make much head, head, headway with just the three of you. Wood and stone, stone, stone are all well and good, but what you really need is people. You have to travel to the other islands and bring back, back a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely rat, rat, rattling around on this big island all by yourself. A few fresh faces will really liven the place up. Okay, that sounds good. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to these other islands without a ship? Oh, a top, top, top notch question indeed, and one that the heavens shall soon answer. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. Hmm? Oh. Oh, a ship, ship, ship. Whoever would have thought it. Well, that was convenient. You're doing this on purpose now. All right, out with it. Who are you really? You can cut all that guardian spirit rubbish. I thought you said bullshit for a second. Well, to tell you the truth, I can't rem rem remember my, who I am. I'm not even sure if I ever knew. But I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back back to me if I watch Scarcy working his building magic. Well, there's no time for, like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of the ship and get the work started. A new destination added to your map. Yay! Any other materials I want to steal? I could steal the, the torches, but eh. Yeah, let's steal them. Oh. Oh, I had that wrong. There we go. We could probably use those at home. All right, so we gotta go down. Up, oh, hydration bot. Yep, take your time down. Oh wait, is that a ladder? Oh no, it's a vine, never mind. Alright, take your time. There you go. Nope, can't take that. Every now and then, like, he stumbles. It's weird. Naruto, run!
Nope, can't take those blocks yet. Hang on, before I talk to you. Okay. Oh, hey there, me briny blood rats. I haven't seen any other humans for fathoms. My name's Brenbeard. I was paint. You look more like a chef. Oh, no, never mind. I was painting the ocean blue, minding me bees' knees, when I sailed right into the path of one of the children's hog on slave ships. Are you the one that broke it? I managed to avoid him, but only by steering into a terrible storm. By the time I realized me map was back to front, I was already stuck in a coffee stain. I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. That's when I hid the island on me port board, bow and punt it over. So what's your story? How did you young whippersnappers, snapper whippers, I'm sorry, end up here? My name is Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia. Or at least it will be once Skasi here is finished with it. Lulutopia, eh? Sounds like a lovely place for land lo lovers like yourselves. Lovers? Hmm. Huh. Aye, and a safe haven for assaulted old sea dog like me. God only knows what would have become of me if I hadn't slushed on these shores. God only knows only what this guy's talking about. Tell me what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your show chauffeur. I'll ship ye off to any island from back here to the second stain on me map's backside. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of me neck, and I don't know me neck at all. But if ye hear of any islands nearby, I'll happily ferry ye over. Well, your boat's a bit on the small side, but it looks in a decent nick. I say we've got a deal. Please, for the love of all that is holy, kill her. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 it seems everything is dropped, dropped. Oh, sorry, whoops, wrong person. Oh, it seems it. I just hit the mic, sorry. Seems everything is dropped, dropping into place. The fine captain will take you to the nearby islands, where I am sure you will find plenty of materials and able bod bod bodied helpers to bring back. But the first thing Lulutopia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now. Tree-lined boulevards, spacious parks, and tables sagging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. She actually has a point. There. In that case, you should first first visit Furrowfield, an island to the east. Fame for its fertile fields and fruit, 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 fruit farms. The island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming, and a dash, dash, dash dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help you help your cause. I'll mark, mark, mark it on Captain Brownbeard's map. You just leave the sound to him. You heard the magic monster, Scarcy. Come and find me when you're ready to go and we'll wait on, on the anchor. It was five. It was five tons last time I checked. That is weird that you instantly just accept that there is a magic monster there. I feel like I should drop off stuff first if I can. Oh, it's raining. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but... Alright. I don't know if I could actually use these, but... Nah, I can't. Well, for now, I'll just leave these chests here. Also this. And, uh... You know, we may as well have some light. You can't place that there? Okay, how about here? Fine. Actually, that looks kind of nice. We enter, and it's like, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, anything else? The cord we can keep. I think we're good. Yep. I imagine we're going to get storage eventually, because that's a big part of this. Oi, Scorty, it's you. Where are you be holding ink at today? Ah, oh, I actually kind of like the art style here. Just taking a sip of water. When you travel between islands, your save data will be overwritten and your autosave will be deleted. 
Please do not exit the game or turn off the system until you reach your destination. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah. But Mr. Morgan, this vessel ain't built for chugging cargo. You have to leave behind everything you gathered here and fish for more materials when we reach our destination. Stows his stuff in the storage sack. Oh. Hmm. Scossy, Malva. He decided to go to this new island then. Yep, we're not sticking around here any longer. Hop aboard, Lulu. You're coming too. Actually, I think I'll stay here. What the? I thought you'd be all... Leave all the hard work to us, did you? Just get on board. I'm sorry, but I can't. After what happened on Hologon's slave ship, I don't think I can stomach setting foot on a boat right now. But don't let that stop you from exploring this furrow field place. I'll be fine here. I'm tougher than I look, I'll have you know. I, I gave her the wrong voice, but whatever. You've got a big person responsibility on your shoulders now. Little Utopia needs materials, food, and new citizens. You have to find them and bring them back. Oh, and if you meet this farming prodigy out there, make sure she teaches you how to turn this island into a green and pleasant land. All right, and what are you going to fucking do? Sit on your ass and just go like, oh, woe is me, I don't have my servants? Together, we can make Lulutopia a villain paradise fit for a princess such as myself. Oh, 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 oh. Pretty much, yeah. You two go off on your little adventure. Lulu will be safe here in my cab. <laughs> as if we could trust a word you say. Still, it's only Lulu's neck on the line. <laughs> I'm with you, Malra. All right, let's roll. We round up all these furrow fielders and put them to work on the sweatshops of Malra's empire of evisceration. <laughs> that sounds bad. When you get back, we can have a grand gala jamboree to celebrate Lulutopia's foundation day. Bon voyage. Fingers crossed she dies. <laughs> Come on, Scarcy. Can't wait to see what Furl feels like. All this talk of food and farm is making me tummy, my tummy rumble. Mine too. I actually thought dinner would be ready already, but you know what? Cool, more time to stream. All aboard for a trip abroad. Time to set sail. Saving... Bye, bitch. <laughs> I'm sure eventually she may possibly slightly... Oh, so the, so the Lord of Destruction has befriended a builder. Ooh. It is the Malroth we were thinking of. Eventually, Lulu might possibly get better, is what I was going getting at. Destiny moves in mysterious ways. Neither men nor monsters can escape its influence. So Malroth is the God of Destruction. But he lost his memory, so he's on our side for now. I'm pressing buttons. Go. But now is the time of creation. Build to your heart's content, young builder, while we wait the day of awakening. And while we await for this text to go away. Pressing all the buttons. All but, like, you know, the PlayStation button. <laughs> oh, really? There's more? There's only one who could save this world from oblivion. Maroth, the Lord of Destruction. That sounds counterintuitive. If you want to avoid oblivion, you don't want a Lord of Destruction. Unless they're saying that, oh, he's got to turn over a new leaf. Unless the ones that are speaking are the worshippers. Dun, dun, dun! Exactly. Sailing, sailing. <laughs> Not a loading screen, a sailing screen. Wow, sailing takes a long time, doesn't it? In other words, they're just loading up that huge island, aren't they? <laughs> Ooh, Dragon Quest Six music. Furrowfield, land of ver verdant vegetation. Yep, yeah, let's all stretch. Here we are at last. That hairy hermit's got a nerve sending us all the way out here on a boat like this. 
The way it was listing from side to side, I'm amazed we made it here at all. Well, list or no list, you sound safe from... You're sound and safe on Jyland now. Welcome to Furrowfield. At least... I'm sorry, wrong voice. At least, I assume it's Furrowfield. Ain't never ever heard of the place myself. But don't look like Baron or Zahn. I can tell you that much. Oh, those are from Dragon Quest 2 as well. Anyway, I'm heading out for a bit to get the lie of the sea. But don't worry, I won't sail away into the sunrise. I'll be back in time to take you both home. <laughs> I think this guy's been drinking too much seawater. Come on, Scarcy, let's get going. I want to see what the island's got in store for us. You're like our only real companion. Well, we may as well gather up all the stuff we can again. Uh, they took away our food, though. Can I break stuff on here? Nope. Well, worth a shot. Eh, I don't know if I really need a barrel, but whatever. We may as well grab everything. Is that rope? Oh. Alright, that's convenient. Hmm. Alright, I can get the cord at least. Oh good, he's helping with that too. Again, it's so good to have a helper. Just don't fall off, okay? We don't need that. We haven't had much use for cord, but I have a feeling we will. Alright, let's get back. I'm guessing this is just going to give us dirt, right? Oh! Spoiled soil. Well, sounds like someone's parents were spoiling them, but I'm... Yeah, I know, I'm hilarious. This island is pretty weird, don't you think, Scarcy? The trees are all withered, the ground's gross and slimy, and the whole place thinks like someone left a sack of apples in the sun for a Walmart. Do you think we'll find this greenery we're after in a slimy, stinky place like this? Huh? Whoa, what the heck's that? There's a pink thing there. It's some kind of pink pulsating thing. But what is it? Hey, free fences. Yeah, you're right. Oh, we got stone. Hell yeah. And thank you, Malroth. I appreciate it. Whoa, that's a lot of wood and logs there. I think it's some kind of fruit. What do it taste like? Uh, do you reckon the whole thing's edible or. Blur! Cough splutter. That stupid thing just blew up in my face! It, I, I think it likes you. <sighs> what a stink! It turned the dirt around it and all gross and slimy too. <laughs> I've heard of a fruit going off before, but not like that! This place is crazy! Huh? I smell a fight brewing. Scarcy, over there! Help! Leave me, leave me alone! There's no point trying to eat me. I'm nothing but skin and bone. Eek! Ah, sounds like fun. Come on, let's go and see what the screaming's about. All right, we'll take our time now. Hell yeah, fence. Oh, hell yeah. Look at all this stuff. 
Yeah, I like Malroth. He's doing good. And this is much faster than, say, in Don't Star. Ooh, read. The book is titled, titled Furrowfield, Land of Plenty. The farmer's paradise of Furrowfield is far famed for its five delicious... The main pages have been violently torn out. Huh. Not that delicious. Alright, I guess we should go rescue her or something. Oh, hey, a slug! Is that muddy water? Yes, it is. I smell battle brewing! Uh, you wanna help me over here? Ow! Whoa! Someone's spitting at me. Can I use my axe to do more damage? Uh, it only does one damage. Ow! Ugh. Jump away. Okay, we can we're getting experience at least. Jump away. Honestly, in this game you usually don't really kite, but uh You know what? If we can, why not? I know you want to go over there, but I kind of want stuff. Bad boons. Okay. You tank, I'll just kind of do some random damage here. Okay, we got him out of the way. Yeah, Malroth's definitely the stronger one of us. Nice! Ha! That'll teach those monkeys to mess with us! Right, time to get some info out of Sally Screams a lot. You have really good nicknames, dude. I like you. It's gonna suck when you probably eventually betray us. Well, not betray, but realize your true purpose or something. I don't know. Oh, thanks for the rock. I can't take that. Uh, you can follow me. I think he's, yeah, he's getting me a lot of rock. Hey, Sally screams a lot. How are you? So this is how I die. I stand up for a big stinky ape. I hope I give them a horrible indigestion. Wait, the monsters? They're gone. Those scary cats must have turned tall and fled when they finally worked out who they were dealing with. <laughs> hmm? I really can't see you too well. <laughs> hey! So just one of the two of you been standing there. Did you beat the monsters? Oh, I see. Thanks for your help. My name's Rosie. What's yours? And what are you doing here? He's Malroth the Amnesia, and you're Skarsky the Apprentice Builder. And you've come here to find out how to add a little greenery to your island? You know, going around telling everyone that you're a builder is risky business. There's no telling how they might react. If you're lucky you met me, and I might be lucky that I met you. I already like her much better than Lulu. Alright, my mind's made up. You can't make an element without breaking a few rules. As the finest farmer on Thoroughfield, it is my duty and pleasure to give you the grand tour of its finest farm. Come on, follow me! And it sounds like dinner's ready, too. Yep, it is. <laughs> I'll give it a moment. Shall we go? You know, we'll follow her to the finest farm first, and then we'll probably end it. Oops, more rock. We're coming, we're coming. We just wanted rocks. Jeez. Well, she's not being insistent. She's just kind of like, come on. Shall we go? Oh. Hmm. There's a strange pattern in the soil. Well, here we are. Furrowfield, Burrowfield Farm. The greatest, greenest garden on the on the island. How do you like it? 
there. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but it's not that great. It's not very green. It isn't even the garden. <laughs> oh, I know. That's because we haven't built it yet. Huh? Fairfield used to be a plant lover's paradise, with vegetables and flowers growing everywhere and anywhere. But then the spoil spores appeared and turned all the earth into horrible stinky slime. You can hardly grow, even grow weeds in it. There was once a great farm here, the biggest and brightest on the whole island, and if all of us put our minds to it, I think we could bring it back. All of us? Are those guys mixed up in this too? Come, Perry, there must be something we can do. This is the last of our wheat, not to mention the soil. We've scant enough arable earth as it is. I won't stand so close if I were you, Mr. Bonzon Bonanzo, sir. This air spores ball looks like it can go off any minute. Suffering slimes! Bonanzo, Perry, are you alright? Quick, you two, we have to get over there and make sure they're okay. But we will never will. Because that's gonna be the end, I think. For now. So let's save. <laughs> Yep, save it. Anyway, yeah, we're going to end it here. I will be on later tonight. Uh, probably playing something different because, again, me streaming this at night is not a good idea. I have to be a little louder and I <laughs> can't do that. So I'm thinking probably either another Dragon Quest game or Don't Starve. Don't know yet. But thank you guys for watching. No Life Queen. I hope you're feeling better. And uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.